what do you do when you're tired and stressed and not motivated? I think for me is that you have to be careful that you're burning your oil and not your wick. You're only burnt out because you've let your oil run dry. You have to keep your lamp trimmed. You have to keep yourself filled. And the thing that fills you is all the spiritual stuff, songs and hymns and spiritual songs and worship and, and making sure that you're staying full of the spirit keeps you from just getting dry and burnt out. It's also possible to become weary in your well-doing. That's why the word says, do not be weary in your well-doing because you will reap a harvest if you faint not. And sometimes you get tired because well-doing is hard work. And uh, sometimes I think that we can be surprised at fatigue. But to me, fatigue is a sign, especially if you're doing the right thing, fatigue is a sign that you worked hard. If you're watching this and you work out, there's a, there's a sign when you're working out that your muscles are reaching a place of fatigue. And it's possible to work out and never get your muscles to a place of fatigue. It's, it's absolutely possible. There are people who work out all the time and they, their bodies aren't changing because they don't push their body to a place where it is tired. So sometimes that lethargic, that oof, that oh my God, I'm so tired. Sometimes that's a good sign. Sometimes that means that you really are working hard. And if, you're, if that work is behind something that's good, then that's a good thing. That's not a bad thing. It's also possible to become weary because you are doing something that is a waste of your energy and time. And that's a whole nother story altogether. Now, if you're getting weary in your well-doing, well, the word says, do not be weary in your well-doing, you will reap a harvest. And so the dream and the belief of harvest will help you to not to be weary. But it's also possible for you to be tired because what you are putting your energy behind is a waste. And if that's the case, then you need to change what you're putting your energy behind. What do I do when I feel overly tired or overly lethargic? If it lasts for too long, I'm like, I need a vacation. I need to get away. And the fatigue is a good thing. But if it turns negative, then I need a break. But it, it may be possible that I've turned negative because I'm doing something, I'm not getting results, or I'm doing something and it's not what I should be doing. I don't really know if you're called to do it, if it's really wearing you out that much. I think if you're really called to do it, then it's only gonna make you but so tired. Jesus said, come to me all of you who are weary and heavy laden and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Meaning that if you have the yoke of God on you, if you're doing what he's calling you to do, it's a yoke, but it's not heavy to you because it's what you're called to do.